Has this guy gone completely nuts now? First this Adidas green eco freak runs against the fossil boomer guys and now he comes with this nobly leathered Porsche Cayenne under the swagger headphones. That's the completely double standard dude. In this video you will hopefully learn why the headphone has made a sustainable impression on us as producers of electronic dance music and how it could positively change your everyday studio life. So stay tuned. I can see that simplicity looks different, but these headphones are not only expensive and heavy, they are also a unique representative of their kind. Moreover, it doesn't consume diesel and smells classy. Which leads us directly to the first of the five points why I can recommend the headphone with a clear conscience. First, the sound. HEDD phones, de la marque HEDD. Monitor speakers. For the ears, with this thing, Doc Freddy from HEAD lured us at the before last super booth. Because I have a real problem here in this studio. The room is actually my living room and this is where I spend most of the day. Even when I'm not making YouTube videos. The room is big, has lots of windows and a wooden floor. As you can imagine, it's quite a mess acoustically and could only be optimized by spending a lot of money. I don't want to do that, nor do I have the money for it. That's why we thought the idea of putting a pair of real high-end monitor speakers directly on the head was pretty genius. It feels like it's like I have two monitors <laughs> on my head. Thinking. It is like wearing monitors on my head. And to say it in advance, this thing also sounds absolutely amazing. I also spent a lot of time thinking about how to make a nice headphone video without getting into flowery sound description lyricism that ends up of being of no use to anyone but the author's ego. I know enough of this from the wine world and it bores me enormously by now. Technical data and analysis values are also not my thing. For this reason, this video contains only practical and of course completely subjective impressions that results from the practical use of the headphone in our studio over the past year. But now to the sound. The sound concept of the headphone is transparency in the truest sense of the word. Already, it is obvious that the air motion transformer, an ingenious development of head, electrodynamic designs, mm. is completely focused on transparency. Have you ever seen headphones with membranes you can see through? If you put on the head, you will directly notice that it hardly shields the surrounding sound of the room. A conversation is easily possible even with the headphone on. However, this highly open design also has the disadvantage that the person next to the sofa will hear the headphones playback quite unsilenced. If you are looking for something with noise cancelling, you are welcome to look further. This openness also has a practical side effect. Similar to a studio monitor, the two channels of a stereo signal can also reach the opposite ear. This works extremely fine with the headphone. I use an SPL Phonitor 1D headphone amplifier which has an extra function to simulate this effect. In conjunction with the headphone, this SPL Phonitor matrix is much weaker compared to a conventional closed headphone. All in all, the spatial impression is absolutely captivating. The localization of the signals in the room is perfect at all times, even with binaural recordings. The frequency response also makes a very linear impression so that too much bass or too little treble can be reliably corrected at any time. The direct comparison with other listening devices going from high-end headphones to Bluetooth speakers shows that you can really rely on the headphone's neutral listening impression. Speaking of headphone amplifiers, the head requires quite a bit of power to play back at a reasonable volume. This is why a high-quality amplifier is urgently needed to take full advantage of the head's sound potential. 
The SPL Furnitor 1D is the lower edge of the bar. You can turn it almost full up with the minus 14 loves mix driven to 0 dB without it getting too loud. So there is still more possible. The headphone amplifier of Arturia's professional interfaces is surprisingly excellent and is hardly inferior to the SPL in terms of quality and performance. You should definitely consider this and include it in the purchase of the headphone. Two. Quality and workmanship. The headphone has ear pads that are bigger than the tires of a small electric car. However, uh, the look is not only sick in this case, but the materials used are so selected and processed that you actually feel reminded to the interior of a German luxury car. Although more of the 90s quality before planned obsolescence made its way into Mercedes and BMW as well. And from the looks of it, that's how much this thing weighs. On paper it's only 730 grams, but it feels like at least 3 kilos. That's why the wearing comfort takes some getting used to. In our tests, the test subjects independently reported a certain pressure on the fontanelle, which is sometimes a bit awkward. I have since gotten used to it and think that the head <laughs> simply has to adapt to the headphone or vice versa. However, I also found a tiny little disadvantage in the handling. The display for left and right ear cup is not solved as obviously as I would like. Without the discreetly color-coded cable plugged in, it's not so easy to figure out how around the device belongs on the skull. Otherwise, I think the headphone is a very nice example of successful industrial design of German make. <laughs> where the motto form follows function was clearly in the foreground. And come on, it looks really pretty cool. Just at a test to be for a real long-term test, the material in our test setup wasn't saved. Therefore, the test device stood a bit too long in the sun last summer, which is why the leather at this joint here became a bit loose. Other than that, nothing has discolored or changed and thanks to the predominantly smooth materials, the head is very easy to clean and still looks tip-top even after intensive use. That's premium. 3. What it is not. Nevertheless, this is not the headphone with which you do sessions for hours or enjoy your Spotify playlists in the office. I often need a break after a while and then temporarily continue working with a lighter headphone such as my Biodynamic Amiron Wireless, which at only 380 grams is also not quite so light but feels feather light against the headphone. After all, in the studio, you also sometimes switch between different speakers. You should also consider that in addition to the weight of the headphone comes the extremely high quality but very strong cable with the Mini XLRs. And in my opinion, a good headphone amplifier is essential because it needs a lot of power, as you can see in the typical data. For on the road, it is therefore not suitable at all, unless you like to travel with your own headphone flight case in your hand luggage. And of course, we have tested the mobile use in practice for you. But what is this thing then useful at all if you cannot even watch your favorite TikTok in the subway without suffering a fainting spell due to technological overkill? 4. It's a professional studio tool. Period. The 
headphone has become a tool in our studio that is mostly used for mix down and mastering. And there it is no longer just a working tool, but by now an essential instance. We use the headphone to check whether all of the mix is in the right place and if the frequency spectrum is correctly balanced. The spatial imaging in the sound stage really leaves nothing to be desired and reveals the weakness of a mix very quickly and clearly. I have never experienced this in a headphone in such a drastic and clear way. Also, bad recordings and mixes sound really horrible with the head. That's why I like to call it the sound microscope. The headphone is first of all extremely useful for listening closely to signals. For this reason, I'm not really convinced if I would be satisfied with the headphone as a hi-fi freak. However, those sound esoterics tick differently anyway and let the money be taken out of their noses for the strangest things. And for pure recreational pleasure, beyond any price discussion, the headphone is too truthful in sound and too heavy in size and weight for me. While it's also really nice to listen to your old records with it. Which brings us up to the fifth point, the price-fun ratio. <laughs> Which of course leads to discussion of controversy for a headphone that costs $1900. The headphone comes in a really big box and you don't have a lot of fancy stuff going on inside as the pro audio brands don't generally care about spending on things that don't really matter. But the headphones are really well protected in this phone casing. Let me break it down from my view. After one year and over 60 tracks mixed with them, I would want to claim that in studio use it is the best option to an elaborate acoustic setup including expensive monitors. From this point of view, the 1700 euro which these headphones cost relativize themselves quite fast. And HEAD is definitely an absolute premium manufacturer that maintains its product range and scores with personal service. So before you ruin your apartment with egg cartons and foam and get yourself a comparably priced pair of monitors like my nearly 30 years old vintage DivaTech here, you should definitely consider and listen to the headphone as an alternative. I'm sure you'll have a little aha moment as well. In any case, you can also take your virtual studio with you and enjoy the same monitor sound even somewhere else. Professionals love this trick. Ever, I don't have my studio monitors around. The headphone is just the best choice. Since I work a lot with headphones, I would like to briefly point out other options. Headphones are really a matter of taste and every brand has its own style. As an ex-DJ and producer, I bought a Sennheiser HD25 some decades ago. By the way, this is also an investment for life since you can replace all worn components like earpads, cables and so on. This headphone is always at the start when I cut videos and screw sounds. In unfinished raw mixes, you always keep a good overview with it, because the transients and basses always completely pop in here. It's definitely not for fine work. And then other headphones came and went. A few years ago, I became a Biodynamic fan. I can highly recommend the higher quality models with the so-called Tesla technology. I use the Amiron Wireless, a high-end model that can be transformed into an extremely neutral sounding studio headphone by simply putting in a cable, which is technically and sonically relatively close to the T5 and the DT1990 Pro. I wear these virtually day and night. Shortly before the expiration of the two-year warranty, I had to send them to Bayer because they had already suffered in some places. After two weeks, I got them back refurbished like brand new. Excellent service at Bayer. And of course, there are many other fantastic manufacturers with exciting offers. Fazit. <laughs> what does this tell us except that once again everything is relative? Above all, 
you should always consider before making a major expense whether the investment is warranted in the long term. And in the case of Studio Basics, I've actually always had the impressions over the years that it's worth it in the long run to reach a little bit higher. And real classics often even gain in value, as just think of the Minimoog, the Technics SL 1210 or old outboard. Anyone who has bought one of these new will not have ever regretted it until today. So here I see a lot of potential for the headphone. Therefore I think that the headphone is a top recommendation for all producers who have already achieved a certain degree of professionalism and are dependent on having a reliable and absolutely detailed monitoring in the box at any given time. Because costly acoustic construction or an expensive studio rent in the city let the admittedly high initial price for the headphone quickly appear as a reasonable alternative. After all, neighbors are only humans. So check it out at your local dealer and let me know what you think. And if you are already using a headphone, I would be just as happy about your opinion. I am looking forward to the comments. That's it for today with the headphone. Feel free to leave us a like and a subscription and look forward to our next video. Peace.